Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my four healthy family meal ideas video. When I talk healthy, I am going by the Slim and Wild guidelines. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about healthy food. If you want to see my four healthy meal ideas, then keep on watching. I'm going to start with burgers, but instead of buns, we use lettuce. You can use burger buns on Slim and Wild, but we just prefer to use lettuce. I'm going to do really simple wedges with this and dress with a red onion chutney, which I will leave the recipe link to below. It was sin free and super easy to make. The wedges are so simple, you literally just cut up potatoes, you can leave the skin on. You then put them in an oven dish and dress with salt and pepper. You can put any kind of spices on that you like. You then spray with fry light and put them in the oven for around 45 minutes. For the burgers, you put the mincemeat in a bowl and mix with eggs so the mincemeat all sticks together. You then season it with salt and pepper. I'm then going to spray my pan with fry like ready for the burgers and mould the mince together into a burger shape and then pop them into the pan to cook. Once the burgers are cooked, I'm going to lay them out on some lettuce. I'm then going to put some tomato on them and some cucumber. I'm then going to put on the red onion chutney that I made. As I've already said, I will leave the recipe for this in the description box. It is so good. Me and Jordan love it. I'm then going to get the wedges out of the oven and put them on the plate and that is your meal done. The next recipe is Slim and World Spaghetti Bolognese. I will leave the link to the recipe in the description box but I will show you guys how I make it my way. There is all my ingredients laid out. First of all I'm going to cook some red onion because I like my red onions like quite cooked. I don't like raw red onions so I'm going to make sure these are nice and cooked. I'm then going to add the mince and cook that. I'm then going to add half a tin of chopped tomatoes. I don't add the full tin because Jordan doesn't like it too tomatoey. I'm then going to add my tomato puree and beef stock. I'm going to pop my spaghetti into boil. This doesn't take too long, so I'm then going to serve it up, put the spaghetti on the plate, put the mince on the and then just put some basil on the top. Basil is a really nice twist to a spaghetti bolognese. My next recipe is a Slim and World tuna pasta bake. I'm a massive tuna pasta bake fan, so I love this recipe. I keep this recipe really quite simple. There are quite a few different variations of this on the Slim and World website. First thing I'm going to do is put the tuna into a pan and just add some fat-free natural yoghurt. The recipe does say fat-free from our tray, but it's so hard to get hold of, so I just use natural yoghurt. I'm then going to season with salt, pepper, dill and garlic. I'm then going to add a touch of tomato puree just to give it a little bit more flavour. I'm going to put the pasta into boil. I have used whole wheat fusely pasta today from Lidl. I'm then going to add some light cheese triangles to my tuna. I believe you can have quite a few of these as your healthy extra on Slim and World. I'm then going to mix all of the tuna and the pasta together. And then serve with some salad that I've dressed with balsamic vinegar. Next up we have meatballs, mash and kale. I absolutely love this recipe. I love meatballs. So I love making them the Slim and World way. We have used 400 grams of mince and then we're going to add some egg similar to the way you make the burgers. So you're then going to season with salt and pepper and you can put garlic in there if you like or red onion. You can put anything in there you want basically. They're very easy to make. Roll up into a ball shape and pop into the oven. Peel all of your potato and then put your potatoes on to boil. Once they are boiled, drain the potatoes, put them back into a dish and you can add some light cheese triangles as well to flavour the mash a little bit. As I've already said, you can use these as your healthy extra. For the gravy, I'm going to use some red onion. I'm going to chop up the red onion and fry it in a pan. For the gravy, I'm then going to use some beef stock and some natural yoghurt to make it a really creamy gravy. This is like trying to mimic the IKEA gravy. Following a recipe I found online, which I will link below, we then added some cheese triangles to the gravy as well, just to mimic that very famous IKEA meatball and gravy meal. Get your meatballs out of the oven. We added some kale as well to get some greens in, and there is your meal done. I also want to show you some of my favourite frozen Slim and World meals. We have this bolognese ragu, which serves two people in my opinion, and you can serve with either veg or pasta. 
We then have the Slim and Well Beef Lasagna, which I am yet to try, but I know it's going to be absolutely gorgeous, and we're going to serve that with salad. Slim and Well Chicken Tikka Masala, which is absolutely beautiful and sin-free. We serve this with vegetable rice. And then last but not least, the Slim and World Sin Free Sausages. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it gave you some ideas. I'll see you guys in my next video.